good day everyone and um, this is Ola Ali. I want to quickly show all the trade settings for uh, $100 capital if you are starting your royal queue with $100 and you need to make use of this uh, trade setting the first thing that you need to do you must make sure that you've already bind your API API you've already bind it with um, Binance or OB link it together. Okay, when you are binding, you should make sure that you copy the IP from Royal Q to your Binance, and you should make sure that you copy the IP key from your exchange, either Binance or OB to Royal Q, and your secret key from exchange as well, either Binance or OB to Royal Q and um, after binding that is what we make um, Royal Q to work with your uh, crypto exchange and uh, you need to make sure that you have money in your Royal Q account and um, another thing is that you need to make sure that this place this place that you have um, money there that is where Royal Q normally check there 20% whenever you have less than ten dollar always make sure that you fund it some people that just register they can close it at any time um, this place you should make sure that you have money there like at least minimum of ten dollar but if you don't have money on your own right now if you just register that means your twenty dollar will be in this place you see it where the right um, this total total RP once you've got exhausted you need to make sure that you fund another twenty dollar because that is where Royal Q will be charging their twenty percent uh, trading fee if you make hundred dollar they are going to charge a uh, twenty dollar so that is where they are going to be charging their twenty percent trading fee so we should always make sure that we have some uh, money there so Let's go back trade setting for uh, um, trade setting for hundred dollars capital. So um, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to click on quantitative. We click on quantitative. If you are using Binance, make sure that your the icon is on Binance. And uh, if you are using OB, make sure that the icon is on OB so that you'll be able to see. Uh, will be coin and um, Binance coin and again make sure that your your professional edition is turned on this is your professional edition make sure that it's turned on for you to see all the coin if you didn't turn it on there is no way you can see all the coin so make sure that it's turned on now let's check the coin we need to make sure that we go for the deepest one the first one as you can see these are the coin that i'm having currently anytime you see something at the front here it can be red or green it means i've already taken the position so i then need to look at the one that i'm here to take any position like this one now i didn't i didn't have any coin i didn't take any position as you can see the front here is zero zero point percent so I will look at it and I'm, I will now focus on this place increase I focus on this increase I will look for the most deepest the most deepest it could be 1% on that day 2% 5% 20% uh, 50% the most deepest means the one red uh, if it is green you shouldn't uh, you don't select it make sure that it is red so that when the market is recovering we can still make um, some money some money so let's go and let's continue to check continue to check continue to check So I've seen one, it is dot, dot is minus 5.43, uh, 
take a look at let, let continue uh, omg is minus eight percent we should know that we should we will pick omg ahead of uh, ahead of dots going ahead of dot well let's continue to say whether we are still going to see the one that is deeper okay for now we have um this minus eight percent and uh, this this minus five percent okay we need to select minus eight percent first we need to have it at the back of our mind if you are trading with hundred dollar capital we will make use of two coins normally it's supposed to be one coin but we are going to make use of two coins so we will split it and be trading uh two coins so right now here is the setting you will click on omg once you click on omg click on trade setting click on trade setting and um here where you see first buy limit put it to ten dollars open position double don't put it to anything margin call margin call put it to put it to four four margin call and all position take profit leave it at 0.13 all position take profit call back put it to 0.1 0.1 and a buying call back let it be 0.5 let it be 0.5 and uh, once you do that you will click on margin configuration margin configuration and you put all this uh, first buy you put it to one 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 first buy and multiple buy ratio put it to one 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 let's do it okay as you can see i've put everything to one 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 you need to make sure that you confirm first buy multiple buy ratio one 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 it means the hundred dollar that we want to buy we split it if we want to use fifty dollar to trade this coin and the forty dollar to trade another coin it's always good to have a reserve we use ten dollars our reserve and as you can see first call ten dollar when it dip for one percent ten dollar when it deep for another one percent we should buy ten dollar this one now we are spending one two three four we are spending forty dollar on the coin and uh, plus the first initial buy the first initial buy is the first buy that we have here is the first buy that we have here which is ten dollar which means we are spending fifty dollars on this coin fifty dollars on this coin that is what we are spending okay and uh, after that we click on save so and the last thing that you are going to do is to click on start once you click on start your bot will start working okay that is for the first coin for hundred dollar once you do, do the first coin then need to do the second coin okay i'm not going to click on start because i'm just recording this pop uh, re uh, video for recording purpose i'm already trading some coin here so the second coin um, the, the second coin is dots dot is minus 7.5 click on dots you know we've already allocated um 50 dollars for the first coin allocate fifty dollar for the first coin okay it means we have fifty dollar left it means we have fifty dollars left out of our fifty dollar it is forty dollar that we are going to allocate for the second coin why because it's always good to have some leftover so we have like ten dollars left okay now what we need to do is to click on trade setting once we click on trade setting our first buy amount should always remain um then so this place now since we are spending forty dollars and we've already have first buy amount ten and this place will be three three ten plus uh margin call margin call means 
number of times that you want the robot to buy three three times 10 times that is 30 plus the initial 10 that is 40 okay and um whole position take over 0.3 whole position take profit call back 0.1 so after that we click on margin configuration and we able to do this do this one percent one percent one percent it it means when the market is dipping the robot should buy buy continue to buy once the market is dipping one one percent the robot should continue to buy ten ten dollar ten ten dollar since our uh, buy amount is ten dollar after that we click on save and uh, we click on start as you can see we are spending um fifty dollar on the first coin and we are spending forty dollar for the second then coin for our hundred dollar uh trading capital for our hundred dollar trading uh capital that is uh that is the setting guys and that is what you need to do and that is how you are going to do it so i'm going to drop another setting for people 